what is the most important thing for you to focus on as we're having this churning, this chaos, this transformation into 5D, the new earth, the emergence of the new human, all of these amazing things are happening to us physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, energetically, all this transformation is happening. It's available. It is here and now. And what is going on on the outside is also going on on the inside. This is a time for transformation. And I am Washayla Sananda. Thank you for joining me today. I'm here in my new house. I am not broadcasting from my office. I am broadcasting from my beautiful master bedroom because the views are amazing. I'll put a couple clips in because what I'm looking out at right now is so beautiful. I don't want to be in my office. I want, to, I want to be right here where I'm sitting right now. I put a little desk in front of my window and it overlooks the lake and it's just lovely. So I will be broadcasting from here probably more often than not because this is just a gorgeous place to be and it's inspiring and it's fun and I'm so happy I'm in this beautiful new space. So what is the most important thing to focus on during this time of transformation? It is your mindset. And I want to share a little bit about something I saw this weekend. It was a video that somebody sent to me, and it's a well-known uh, figure in spirituality, fairly well-known person. And it was a video that started out saying, I'm not sharing this because I want anyone to go into fear and get upset and all those things. I'm sharing this for informational purposes. And then it launched into all kinds of crazy, terrifying, fearful things that are, that he says is, are going to be happening to the world. And then he goes into what you can do about it because he said his, his partially, his reason for sharing is so that we can all do something about it. And what we could do about it is um, take more vitamin D and share his video essentially and make his video go viral so that we all have the information that all these horrible things are coming. And if we all know that these things are coming, then the elites at the top will not, will think twice before they do it, which if you kind of backtrack that, it all sounds like a campaign to get this video to go viral and to get him more well-known and to spread fear. Uh, that's what I got out of it. I'm like, oh, wow, this is some scary stuff. And then I did a little more research. I'm like, wait a minute. you know, <laughs> He's not really giving us anything we can do about it. He's just sharing a whole lot of fear and saying, if we share his video enough, and if enough people see it, then the people who are instilling that fear might think twice about doing the fearful things they've got up their sleeves. So what's wrong with this? Why do I not think this is a good tactic? <laughs> well, let's break it down. Don't listen to the fear broadcasts. Do not listen to the fear broadcasts. Okay, it's great to be to be prepared in a general sense. It is good to have a garden. It's good to have access to things like a generator, like some fuel, like, you know, all the things that you would need. I live in Florida. I had my power go out for uh, a number of days after Hurricane Ian recently. And it's good to have things that you're prepared for, right? No matter where you live in the world, it's always good to have some preparation supplies. But let's not focus on what could go wrong, right? Let's focus as a community on what we're creating, on where we're going, on what is being transformed and created at this amazing time. This is the time of ascension. We have this opportunity. We have this opportunity, this golden opportunity to ascend, to ascend as humanity, to ascend our consciousness, to ascend our physical bodies and body ascension, to ascend with the earth. This is happening. This is happening for those who choose it. And here's the thing. There are so many wolves in sheep's clothing. And what I mean by that is 
There are people out there disguised as light bringers, disguised as light workers and star seeds who will tell you, I am going to save you, me and my people or me and my special posse or me, whatever, whoever it is, that, that they are the ones that are going to save you. And if you just listen to them and get their broadcasts and share their videos and do everything they say to do, then you'll be okay. But I am here to tell you not to listen to that, to that stuff. Listen to your inner truth, listen to your inner heart and what is going on with that, with those types of videos. They are instilling fear. They are appealing to that part of you, that very human part that we all have that can go into fear. And it, they're using that fear to get you to give them fame, to give them your attention, to give them your power, to give them your money, to give them your, your life essence. Even if it's, you know, share this video so that it'll go viral, that's not a solution to any problem. That is not a solution. Where's the solution? There was no solution. Sharing a video is not a solution. Granted, it might be helpful to share videos sometimes, but it is not a solution to any problem. So please watch what you're consuming and believing in. If you are consuming information that is instilling fear at any level, think again, get your mindset right. Keep your mind in the right place. You do not need to believe in a negative them, in a negative elite or 1% or cabal or dark hats or whatever all these uh, things might be thought of or called reptilians, dracos, <laughs> name it, whoever that might be for you or what you've heard. Let's just forget about all that silliness and come back to our hearts and focus on what's important. And that is love and kindness and generosity and purity and connection with other human beings, connection with nature, connection with animals, connection with the divine, with source, with beloved in all of its forms. That's what's important. When you get thrown off center and if you listened to video that video or another one like it, and, and if this is happening, if you turn on the news and you get afraid, it's okay. It's not about judging yourself or having anyone else judge you. And I'm not judging you. It happens to me too. It happens to everybody sometimes. But to quickly come back to center and say, okay, do I... Do I want to believe this? What's the litmus test? What is the test to decide? Is this true for me? Is this right? Is this something I really want to listen to and believe in? Well, how does it make you feel? Do you feel uplifted after listening to it? I'll tell you what, after I listened to that video, I had this churning, chaotic, upset kind of feeling inside of me. And it wasn't a good feeling. It wasn't a feeling of love. It wasn't a feeling of upliftment. It wasn't a feeling of positivity. And I, I definitely didn't feel good. <laughs> it didn't pass the test. And it took me a minute to figure out what is really going on here. And this is the, the subtleties of how things can creep in, how fear can creep in sometimes through a door that we've trusted for a long time or a voice that we have believed in and that we thought was positive. It can creep in all these different ways. And we've got to be mindful of our doorways, of what we're letting through got to be mindful of what are we allowing in because sometimes there will be a voice that we've been listening to and hanging on to and loving and appreciating and and then suddenly that voice will give us a whole lot of darkness and negativity sometimes that happens and stuff creeps through and then we're like we've got to be like oh wait the door's open i got to close the door on that and my point here is sometimes anybody, anybody can be fallible, right? Anybody 
we're all human. If somebody's telling you that they have superhuman powers, they're in line, maybe they are. I don't know, but generally it's not, it's not true. And a lot of times people that are very open spiritually can also be open to negative influences. And sometimes people that pretend to be open spiritually are actually not, or are actually you know, faking it. And that does happen. And there's a lot of that. And I see more of that all the time. And that's not to scare you. Again, I always bring you back to discernment. Use your own discernment. Use your own heart to decide. I mean, don't listen to everything I say. Use your heart to decide if you believe this is true even. You know, everything that you hear, use your own discernment to tell. Is this is this true for me? And do I want to believe it? You know, a lot of us as spiritual people, we've gotten so used to putting up boundaries and saying, no, I'm not going to accept certain things over here. And, you know, we've got to remember to keep those, those boundaries up about the fear broadcasts, even when they come through people that we thought we trusted. And we get to put each other in check. We get to keep each other in check around that. If you have a dear friend or a family member who you usually are uplifting to each other and suddenly things start creeping in or or they start to go into fear, remind them that we are in control of this lifetime all the time. I know sometimes it doesn't feel like it. And this is where the outside influences will try to convince us. They'll try and get in through those little cracks and the, they'll try and get in and say, oh, you know what? You don't know. You aren't powerful. You better trust somebody else. You better trust me. You better trust whatever it is because you might be led astray if you don't. And again, red flag on that. No, listen to yourself. You are the only one that knows what's right for you. And let's Forget about all of the fake powers out there who we've been told have power over us. The truth is they do not. When we stand in our sovereignty, when we anchor in our divine source, in our divine truth, when we know who we are and where we come from, we know our soul and we know that we are from something so much bigger than this world and we can enjoy this world and we can create this world, then we will not be susceptible to those outside influences that are all about fear and doom and gloom. Because what happens when people are in fear they're controllable. When you go into fear, you're much more likely to follow a leader that tells you they will lead you out of that fearful situation. And this is known. And so it's, the, you know, we've talked about the dark and the light, the shadow and the light. They are both parts of this reality. And it's a beautiful dynamic to live in and get to learn from, oh, look what the shadow does to try and fake us out, to try and convince us that we're not something that we are, that we're not powerful, that we're not divine, that we're not creators. Look what it does. And it comes in through religions and it comes in through the news and it comes in through beloved teachers and it comes in all these different ways and packages and our parents and our teachers. And yet, it's all there so that we will eventually be inspired enough to remember how powerful we are, how anchored we are in the divine, and how when we stand up for our truth, nothing can stop us, nothing can get in our way, and we are pure love. And the universe and this reality is our beloved loving us, showing us who we are by interactions from the outside world. And we get to choose in every moment who we're going to be. What are we going to listen to? How will we respond to the information coming toward us? How can we respond in love? How can we respond from authentic power? How can we take inspired, authentic, powerful action on what we're creating in the world? How can we stand for that and for all of humanity to be uplifted and ascend together at this time of transformation? 
I am here to remind you that you are powerful, that the answers are within you, that when you feel something that inspires fear, when you hear something that makes you go into questioning yourself or your safety, go back to love, go back to love and anchor in your truth, knowing you are divine. You know what to do. You know who you are. So don't let those things take you off course. Let yourself continue to rise and find your peace, find your inner peace, find your inner truth and speak it and love it into life. Love this life and love all that is as your beloved. And that is what will reflect back to you. And if enough of us, when enough of us are doing this, this is when it happens. The transformation is happening now with every breath in every moment. And you are an essential part of it. I love you so much. Thank you for watching. I would love it if you would give a thumbs up, like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell if you want to get notifications. I'm Washayla Sananda. I love sharing my world and my life with you and growing with you and ascending with you. And my mission is to assist humanity in ascending. The earth is ascending with or without us. So let's go, let's go with her embodied ascension. And uh, a couple things that I have coming up are, well, the pyramids retreat is next week, Florida pyramids retreat. I think we have one or two spaces left. If you want to jump in last minute, you still can, but it's getting down to the end time here for, for registering for that. I also have a master class coming up with Nadi Hana. This is a Metatron master class. We'll be drawing Metatron's cube and meditating and breathing, doing some breath work and really is expanding and working on our ascension. It's a five hour master class class on May 20th. I also have a mastermind coming up in May. I will be letting you know very soon with the date. If you want to get notifications by email, sign up. I have those email notifications. Uh, you just need to join my mailing list to get them. And I'll also be probably sharing a video about that right before it happens. So come on along on this journey with me. Join me. I love you. I'm grateful for you. Thank you for being you. Namaste.